country has never been more divided. The states and territories seem to be working against each other at times rather than working in partnership. I spoke to former Prime Minister John Howard about the chaos and he had some wise words of wisdom to offer. Here's a bit of what he had to say. I wonder if, if you could offer your opinion on how, how you might lead the states and, and the country through to a position where we're a little bit more one, as it were. I've often observed state premiers um, sort of shaping up and wanting to have an argument with their colleagues with the federal government. And, and I think we should just keep, uh, keep calm about that. It's very obvious that the Prime Minister has a, has a good, sensible plan that the great majority of the Australian people support, and that is get vaccinated. I, mean, I think when we do reach those totals, uh, things are going to be very different. I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly low-key, if I can put it that way, in my reaction to these differences between the states. I mean, you've got news conferences every day. I don't know what some of these state premiers are going to do when they no longer have those new conferences, but common sense will prevail. And it's a bit different. Western Australia is a little different because it's a self-contained economy far more than any other state economy is. And, of course, unlike Queensland and Victoria, it doesn't have any border clusters. And there are no, there's no equivalent on the Western Australian border to the Tweed or Rory Wodonga and so you can sort of make um, independence noises. How would you handle Mark McGowan then? Would you give, would you pick up the phone? Oh, look, I would, I would just listen to what he said. I think Scott's handling him very well. Yeah. I think they get on quite well. That's my, the mail I have is that they get on quite well. But the Federation is not going to break up. And all you're seeing is the states using powers they have always had but have never had to use them. I mean, some people say to me, oh, why doesn't the federal government pull them in the line? Well, there's no line to be pulled into because the constitution says public health is a state matter. I mean, I predict that when we get to the 70 and 80%, there might be a little bit of fraying at the edges, but I think uh, people will come on board. I'm an optimist about that because in the end, despite you know the parochial noises you always get, from some parts of the country where Australians are ahead of everything else. <laughs> Former Prime Minister John Howard. I don't know what those state premiers are going to do when they don't have press They're conferences. Press <laughs> <laughs> it's a good point, isn't it? Um, anyway, that full interview with John Howard to mark the 20th anniversary, by the way, of the September 11 attacks airs this Friday on today. Uh, thank him for his time. Uh, it's a big anniversary coming Being up. Being candid it? too. Yeah, very candid.